we have got the most amazing keto mac and cheese recipe on Pinterest or anywhere else. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to Cook with Mel. Welcome back if you are returning. If you are new, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you get all our recipes. Today we are presenting a keto mac and cheese recipe by katherineskitchenblog.com and she says on Pinterest that this is the most amazing mac and cheese recipe. I had a taste of it, I have to agree with her, it's totally fabulous. The macros are perfect for keto, it's high fat, medium protein and 4.6 grams of net carbs and total carbs, there's no fiber in it. So you don't have to add anything, you can just have mac and cheese for dinner. Yay! Let's get into that recipe now. First, set your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius and we're going to need the head of one cauliflower and um, I have just cut them up just to save time um, I didn't um, record this but you're looking for about you know the size of a little macaroni and I've just chopped them up so it's like a large dice and uh, place them into a lined baking sheet and then you're going to spread that evenly because we are going to bake this cauliflower until it's soft and when you bake it it's going to have you know a little little bit of brownness it's going to go soft and beautiful that's too big for me i'm just going to break that up that's what you're looking for okay and now i've got here two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle that through. We're just going to flavor this cauliflower. We've got a half a teaspoon of salt here. I'm just going to season that. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. You can add more if you want to, if you like lots of pepper. Now we are going to bake this for 15 to 20 minutes. Giving this a stir midway through. You can see um, it's starting to get little um, brown flecks in it, which is going to look beautiful in the mac and cheese. And you know, at this point, your cauliflower is soft, um, but if you want some golden flecks, depending on how many flecks you want, you know, you want majority of it or not, um, you would keep going. And I am going to keep going. Okay, that looks lovely and soft. It's got some brown flecks in there. Beautiful. Add this to a bowl now because we are going to um, complete our mac and cheese at the stove. Set your burners to very low and you need a large pot for this because we have lots of cauliflower and add one and a half cups of heavy cream. Then we're going to add four ounces or 113 grams of cream cheese and here you can see I just broke it up a bit so because your cheese is going to your cream cheese is going to need to melt first. It's going to be very decadent. Whisk in your cream cheese until it's all melted and you can see mine is almost there. I'm just going to keep whisking until I don't see any lumps. Okay, when you're, you've got most of the lumps out, um, we're going to add a total of three cups of cheese. And here I've got a cup of cheddar, a cup of Monterey Jack, and a cup of gruyere. Now, if you haven't heard of gruyere before, it is a mix between cheddar and uh, camembert. It's really soft and gentle, beautiful cheese. And if you don't, you're not using cheese that's already in your cupboard, get yourself some, highly recommend. I'm just gonna add this now.
Okay, you're going to continue to whisk until all the cheese is melted again. That looks so good. Okay, now we're going to add in some remaining spices. Quarter teaspoon of paprika. Quarter teaspoon of onion powder. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. And whisk that in. And now that's ready to serve. Depending on how you want to store it, are you doing a meal prep? It's going to go into your plastic containers, cool down, and go into the freezer. Or uh, I'm using a pie dish to serve my mac and cheese. So all I'm going to do is just um, coat the bottom with some of that white sauce. And now, time for our star of the dish, the cauliflower. Actually, this white sauce, it is pretty amazing. I just had a taste of it. It is, I want to just make fish with it. I want to make a chicken with it. You know, it's just fabulous. I guess this is why it's called the most amazing mac and cheese on Pinterest. Add the rest of your sauce. Okay, and now we need to mix it all in. That's pretty good. I've also uh, cleaned the sides of my bowl if you're wondering like I'm actually not a perfect person I just <laughs> I just cleaned it up what about some parsley flakes or you can use um, green onion and a sprinkle of paprika there you go well I think, and please let me know if you agree, let me know in the comments, I think this is one of the most amazing mac and cheese dishes that I've ever tasted. This is keto, it's got absolutely perfect macros for your diet. You don't need to add anything else. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.